The Dog Days of Summer are here and here with some advice on how to help your plants beat the heat. Master Gardener William Moss. William, good morning. Well, Welcome good back. Good morning, morning. All right, what are we worrying about here and how are we going to fix the problem? Well, one of the biggest things in the summertime, you got a lot of evaporation. So all the water just goes completely out of the soil. Right. And then secondly, plants sweat just like us. It's called transpiration. They lose the more, the hotter it is, the more water they lose. Okay. Just like us. So you put those two together, you got evaporation and transpiration. Evapotranspiration, a big two dollar word that means we got to water a lot during the summer. Of course, <laughs> and some of the simple sort of things that we keep in mind, you want to water late at night or yes. early in the morning, so, yes. so the water can really soak in and do doesn't get burned up by the, the sun. The that way you keep the water in the soil where it's supposed to be. You want to start out, though, if you can, with plants that can take it. You know, so you start out with sedums and cactuses, rosemary, so all the butterfly leaves. Yep. These guys right here can take it. Yeah. But of course, you know, you're going to have some other plants, and that's where you have to come in with your mulch. Is you it see, all about the mulch? Uh, all about the mulch. I'm the mulch concerned <laughs> about the mulch. Because sometimes I think if I'm watering, is, it the, is the mulch sucking up the water? Is the water getting down underneath yes. the mulch? Does it? The water gets underneath the mulch, and what the mulch does, it adds like a little barrier, yeah. and it keeps the sun from sucking the moisture directly out We're of the We're going to pretend this is hooked up to a hose. <laughs> Right. All right. So right. this is so you it's good. The, the mulch is good then to uh, help keep the moisture contained in there. It's great to use a mulch. Now for people who are like have containers or rooftop gardeners, yeah. I love to use mulches that are decorative. You know, things like this, things like these little pebbles or sand uh -huh. or rocks, and you just put them on here, and they act the same way, but they just look more decorative, well, much better than cool. that. There you and go. super moss is another one I like to use. I've been called that myself a few times. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's another one I like to use. You know, from <laughs> now on, from now on, William, we won't even say William. It's never going to happen. It's all super moss from now on. Okay. Right. So you put that on the top. It does the same thing. It gives a nice decorative look. So you don't have to just use wood chips. You can use some other things, especially those people with containers. All right. So you got some uh, some cool new uh, toys here to use too, right? Yeah. These things are great for when you're like going away on, on vacation or even just regular time, just helping you out with watering. Right. So look we got this. some neat little timers. This is a cool timer then. Is it easy to use? Is it pretty, you know? This get, one here, you're going to have to read the book. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> because you can do all sorts of stuff with it. I mean, right? you, can, you can make it mist. You can make it come on twice a day, uh, once every three, four right. days. Yeah. This is a really neat one like that. Okay, and that. this is kind of look like the old-fashioned one. How is this different? Well, you don't oh, want to waste water. Oh, there's a timer on this one, that's too. A, this one has a built-in timer, and you don't want to waste water on this. Yeah. Th this one will direct the water where it needs to go, so you won't be watering the sidewalk and the street and all that kind of stuff. Water is a precious resource. Put it where you need it, there right there go. where the plant all right. All right. What other kind of gizmos do you have? This, this is one, one of my favorite things for, for, for like going on vacation. If you can't get a neighbor or somebody to do it, you know, for my, my um, patio and balcony containers, yeah. I use this thing here. It's a plant nanny. So basically, you can get one with a globe in it uh -huh. and you get a little spike. You see sure. it dripping slowly there uh, okay. at the bottom? All right. It drips slowly and waters your plants over the week like a plant nanny would. Right. But my favorite one, of course, is to use the wine bottle one because that requires a little work on your part. You gotta, you gotta empty the bottles first. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're, not, you're not necessarily drinking for uh, you, you're drinking for your plant. Right. And once you empty the bottle, you fill it with water Very nice. and then you dump it in there like that and it keeps going for quite a while. You think that would work on a couple hundred acres of soybeans? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> right, very good. Super good. Moss, William Moss. And last, what is this? Last thing is dancing shoes. While you're on vacation every other day, do a dance. How about it? There you go. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. William Moss, for more on keeping your plants green this summer, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.